Hi, I'm Randy Nessie from the Arizona State University Center for Evolution and Medicine. My guest today is Carla Parrott from the University of New Mexico. Welcome. Thank you, Randy. What do you do in New Mexico? Well, I am a biochemistry professor. Mm -hmm. I'm also chair of the Department of Biochemistry and Molecular Biology. And um, I do research on vacuolar ATPase proton pumps, which are um, So V-A-T-P-A-S proton pumps. V ATPase proton pumps. So let's start by asking, what is ATP? Well, ATP is the major energy source in living organisms. It's what, what, the chemical What does it stand for, ATP? Adenosine triphosphate. That sounds kind of complicated. But oh, it's no, actually a pretty no, simple it molecule. Is, it is a small molecule. It's a nucleotide with three phosphates. Okay. And, um, but it's essential for life. It's so the, why is it so special? Well, because it provides the energy that um, most cells will need to do any kind of work. So it really is a place where you store energy and then release it? Is that how it works? Yes. It's, uh, it's, it's chemical energy is stored inside this small molecule. And when you break it down, enzymes in the cells, like the VATPase, break down that ATP molecule. They, they break it. The energy is released. And that so energy... ATPase means you take ATP and you split it apart? Exactly. You, what do you split it into? Into, you remove one phosphate, the enzymes remove one phosphate. So then it's and no that, longer ATP. No, it's ADP so that's plus two. one phosphate. Uh -huh. so, and that releases energy. And that process releases energy. Where does the energy go? Is it heat or? It could go into heat, uh, but usually goes into a particular kind of work. As it's it's trans transformed into something that is useful for the cells. So this is how the body does the things it needs to do exactly. with, with energy. Exactly. So if it doesn't make heat, what else can that extra energy that comes from releasing a phosphate do? Well, I'll give you an example. The V-ATPase, which means also vacuolar. Which vacuola, is your favorite enzyme is in the whole world. It's my favorite protein. It's the, very cool. Actually, it's the most important protein in the world. Okay. In my world. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and what would happen to us if we didn't have it? Um, we will die. Most oh, organisms die at the embryonic okay. stage. Mm -hmm. So back to what it does. Okay. Then in the case of this protein, um, ATP hydrolysis, um, this protein is a rotor. It's a very cool, small nano rotor that is inside the cells. A machine. Nano rotor. It's a little machine that rotates. Rotates? It rotates. Then it has like an axle? And exactly. It has a rotor, an axle, and there is a major catalytic center where the axle gets inside. And the axle rotates with the rotor. And in this catalytic center is where ATP is hydrolyzed. It's broken down. Really? And when ATP... So does it have to rotate for this all to work? Uh, Yes, but what causes the rotation is ATP hydrolysis. It's the energy from ATP. So it uses the ATP. energy to rotate something. It uses the energy of ATP to rotate something that the translation at the physiological level is being used to transport protons across the membrane. So it really it's changes it to kinetic energy by rotating something, which yes. then can actually act as a pump. Yes. Mm -hmm. Actually, is it the rotation that makes the pump, or is it some, or, or is the rotation just kind of an accident that is a part of the system? No, the rotation makes the pump. It if there is no work. rotation, then if this is the rotor in these proteins, um, the so rotor the rotor is actually kind of a skinny thing, right? In, in the, middle, the rotor right? is uh, something round like this, kind mm -hmm. of wide, and there is a skinny thing attached to the rotor that okay. connects what the chemistry of mm -hmm. ATP hydrolysis in a catalytic in a, in a catalytic head, I would say, as some so round. What's catalytic mean? Um, where the reaction happens when ATP is broken down and energy is released. So catalysis is when you release yeah. energy. Exactly. Okay. Then that energy release makes this uh, shaft and the rotor rotate. Mm -hmm. The rotor has protons bound around, mm -hmm. which are the small ions that are going to be transported by these proteins. Mm -hmm. The protons are transported. They come, bind to the rotor, they rotate 360 degrees, and they are uh, released on the other side of the that cells. That is so cool. It is really cool. So I'd like to know how VATVAs got the way it is. It wasn't just designed by somebody. It had to be something else first that did something else. 
right? Yes. Um, then there are three members, three type of proteins that are very similar to the VATPase, that including the VATPase, and those are known are known as the rotary ATPases. They they seem to have evolved from a common protein, very an ancestor that is not identified yet. Mm. So um, I've always been fascinated by the way flagella can rotate and they just go around and around and around and around and this is without, similar. Getting, without getting twisted up. Is it the same mechanism? Uh, it's not exactly the same mechanism, but the principle is the same. It's very similar. Uh -huh, it's similar. So that's another kind of mechanism that uses the same rotary principle. Uh, the same are, are there principle. other things in the body besides the ATPases and flagellar rotation things? Um, there are some enzymes that help in the synthesis of, uh, during ATP synthesis, they're called helicases, mm -hmm. and they also rotate. They use ATP as an energy to rotate. There is a completely different system, pretty much, uh, but they, they rotate. In so here's the big question. How many different times in evolution did these rotary systems evolve? Do we know? I don't think we know. It would, it would make sense that it started once with one that got started rotating mm -hmm. slowly for something and gradually changed to these different mm -hmm. ones. Mm -hmm. It would be interesting to look at the molecular biology of that to try to figure out whether they all have common origins or not. I don't know, I don't know if they will have common origins. Mm -hmm. <laughs> A question yet to be answered. Yes. Okay, good. <laughs>